Now your microclimate forecast presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Sean Stiles. And you saw the people out there were layered up because the temperature yeah. swings are pretty big right now. Well, and they were out there very early this morning yeah. and you saw our temperature at six, five in the morning, five or six was uh, in the <laughs> low 40. So definitely chilly in Balboa Park where the race started. But once they got into the sun, it warmed up nicely. And today was a, a classic Southern California day, uh, plenty of sunshine and very mild conditions. It looks like our Santa Ana's are staying away at least for this work week. And then by the end of the work week, things start to change just a little bit. The sun has set, temperatures are cooling off rapidly. Only in the El Cajon area are we in the mid 70s, 72 though in Alpine, but we're in the mid 60s pretty much everywhere else in the mountains. We're already into the 50s in places like Palomar Mountain and Julian at 59 air still very very dry so we will cool off rapidly and our overnight lows will be below average 10 percent humidity currently in El Cajon 17 percent in Poway out to the coastline there is enough of the onshore flow to resaturate that atmosphere but basically anywhere east of interstate 15 it is bone dry out there single digits in places like Borrego and Ocotillo Wells a live shot from our Mount Soledad cam looking back at the bluffs of Black's Beach there, 67 degrees, and northwest of your winds at 5, the humidity at 57%. So at the coast, we'll start to see a change in the atmosphere. Low clouds and a potential for fog, seasonal temperatures through the work week, and then a warming trend starts by Saturday. In fact, Friday will be uh, the first hint of that, but Saturday certainly plenty of warm temperatures. As we look at the satellite loop, there's not much happening here in Southern California, with the exception of this cutoff low. It's in the upper atmosphere, high pressure still aloft, but the low digging across the Northern Plains states and into the Northern Rockies is keeping things very chilly there but out west there's a huge blocking high pressure here and it is not allowing the storm track to shift at all here's that upper level low right there high pressure over the pacific northwest this is cut off from really any mechanism so it doesn't have a lot of energy it'll just enhance the onshore flow and keep our temperatures a little bit cooler as this low starts to work its way through we'll start it to see it kick into uh, parts of arizona and by the time we get into the end of the work week we'll see those temperatures temperatures start to rebound, but for the first four or five days here, we're going to stay in the low 70s. There's that warm up on Friday into Saturday, especially in the inland microclimates where you'll be into the 90s. So it is going to warm up. How much of an offshore flow we'll see? That has yet to materialize. Those temperatures in the mountains, very nice in the mid to upper 70s in the deserts. It's fall, so the deserts are as good as it gets right now. Yes, perfect. No surf though. <laughs> You There's don't have that. to tell me. Yeah. Saw it this morning. Yeah. Thanks.